going on guys it's your boy terror by reacts here and we are back with another happy anime day <laughs> yes what's up terror squad we are in the building one more time man and this anime what can i say man you guys already know that i've definitely fallen in love with this anime and i'm going to to defend it because there's you know the the haters the people that don't like this anime um and as i said i i understand you know just putting myself in their shoes looking at it from another perspective as in the, the situation that went down with um the yufi with the mass the, the 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 genocide that happened um with the Japanese people in the first season. And I think there were a lot of people saying that it was bad writing. Um, they didn't understand why it happened that day. It, they, like, they felt like the writer was rushing it. Um, was basically rushing the season to, to be over. And all of these other things. And to me, it just didn't, it just didn't come off that way. Like my initial response to it was like if you're writing if you're looking at this as a regular anime of course yes you're gonna look at that and say why would they do something like that you know what i'm saying why would they let the most innocent person in the anime do something like that just for shock value you know what i mean but at the same time i look at it and i said um from an individual standpoint, right, where you're looking at the anime and analyzing it for what it is, and from from day one, what was what the the author, the writer was trying to accomplish through telling this story, right, and just coming from episode one up until episode twenty five concluded, and you saw what was at the end of episode twenty five is like, is for you as the viewer to put yourself in Lelouch's shoes, Zero's shoes, right? You know, is this like you inheriting this kind of power, you know, basically uh, dead, you know what I mean? And being saved by someone like all of these things you got to take into consideration, uh, put yourself in that situation and, and, you know, him not knowing that his Gias was on, right? And he put him, put yourself in that situation. You not knowing, um, him ordering Yuffie to do, to do something that he never meant to make her do. And then he couldn't stop her from going out there and doing what she did. You know, there's a lot about this anime that you can that you can look at and say oh this is bad or that is bad but i just take whatever i'm seeing i take it for what it is and that's the reason why a lot of times when it comes on to like game of thrones and stuff like that I always tell people take the book readers different from the people who watch the actual show because you have to compare them as different mediums right so for code Geass, you have to look at it and analyze it in a manner where you're looking at it and say, this is not an anime for entertainment. If it's just for entertainment, then you, if, uh, there's no way if you're writing something for entertainment, you would have tried to develop the story behind Suzaku and Yuffie a lot more. Like that relationship was just thrown at us. I didn't like it, right? Like the whole thing of them falling in love, like they met once. They literally met once like there's the, the relationship wasn't developed. The chemistry just wasn't there. I didn't feel it. You know what I'm saying? And usually in anime, you usually have a better understanding. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a better understanding, a better um, chemistry, a vibe that you feel between characters before they actually hook up. They, they, I mean give you a perfect example with this the, the story between naruto and hinata 
Hinata. A lot of people didn't want Naruto to end up with Hinata, but the chemistry was there. It's just that Naruto just didn't recognize how he really felt about Hinata. I mean, um, let's be honest. I mean, when you put it into that perspective, let's be honest about it. Would Naruto right have gone ballistic when he was fighting against pain would he have gone ballistic if it was anybody else probably yes you know what i'm saying probably yes but what if it was sakura would he have gone off like that would he have lost his cool completely and went how many tails did he go eight tails about to go nine tails would it would would he have lost his cool that much I think so, yes, if it was Sakura, because it was, it would have still been a friend, yes, but I think is the declaration that changed everything, is the declaration that Hinata made right there and then, and if you notice throughout the rest of the anime, you notice that this relationship was brewing, not just in the last, it's just that when he started thinking about everything back from the past, when it came on to Naruto the last, when you watch the movie, when he started thinking about it, he, he now become to realize, oh crap, I've really have some serious feelings for this girl from the get, right? So that's what I'm saying. We saw that relationship develop from a long time a long time ago yes they were young they were they're still kids so sometimes i can't tell you the amount of times that um as much as i know about relationships and stuff like that like a lot of times you know what i'm saying not now but i'm saying like back in the past where somebody has to nudge me on my shoulder like some of my friends would be like hey she's interested bro you know what i'm saying as seasoned as I am in, you know, in relationships and stuff like that, it's just not something that you always recognize and see. Yes, some signs are very obvious, but sometimes your boy has to nudge you on the shoulder sometimes, or, you know what I'm saying, your girl, your sister, your whatever, the situation sometimes to let you actually realize that the, you know, that girl is interested in you. So it's like, so I don't blame him for that. But I felt like this relationship in Code Geass was kind of forced. I didn't really, I, I wasn't feeling it like that. The Yuffie Sazaku relationship. Um, so I understand where people is coming from. And, and, and then they start out season two with, you know what I'm saying? If you don't watch both of those episodes, if you just watch one, you'd be like, what the hell is going on? Just like how, how confused I am, even made up theories that, didn't it turned out that he lost his memory um i wasn't even thinking about that you get what i'm saying because that wasn't shown none of that was shown we didn't know that the emperor had a gias no we did not know um at that point so it's strange everything just came off came off bad but i want to jump into today's episodes man but i just wanted to clear that up to let you guys know that I'm going to defend this anime. Why? Because it play. The reason why I love this anime is because it it lets you think. It lets you think about things other than just the action, other than just the situations in the anime. You can compare it to your own life, real life, and saying, "Man, it's kind of like um, if tomorrow you won the lot the lottery, what would you do? You know what I'm saying? What would you do with that money? Would you?" Just go out and buy houses for all your friends or cars for all your friends. Or, you know, would you invest it? Would you do the smart thing and not, you know what I'm saying? And not the dumb thing. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of like, you know, do people who inherit power, do they, do they really deserve it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, Lelouch is borderline evil. Let's, let's just be honest. He's borderline evil. I mean... In some ways, you hate to love this anime. You know what I mean? So, uh, I just wanted to expound on that a little bit because um, this anime, I'm thinking about it. Just like how when, I, when I was doing Ippo, I was constantly thinking about the situation. And, and that's why I got so emotional at the end of it because it taught me a lot. And it reminds me a lot of, you know, 
even though it was a different story, it reminds me of the feelings that I that I felt when I was watching Naruto, you know, can't wait to see it because what are they going to teach us now? Because there was a lot of life lessons in Naruto. And one of the biggest ones was, you know, one of the main ones is like never giving up on your goals, right? Never giving up, no matter how hard you got to fight, no matter what you got to do, get it done, get it done, get it done. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? So that was, to me, that was the main thing that I learned from Naruto. There was a lot more to it. It was a lot more to it. But, you know, that was the main thing I learned that really resonated with me, you know. So I didn't mean to go off on a 10 minute intro, but here we are. You don't really have to watch it anyway, so <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, man, go ahead. Click that link in the description. We're going to jump into episode 6 of Code Geass R2 right now. So thank you guys for watching as always. See you guys for the review. Oh... My God, this anime never ceases to surprise me, man. The hype is real right now, man. I and that's what I, the thing about it. What I like about this anime is that the surprises are genuine. You get what I'm saying? Completely unpredictable. Completely unpredictable. Like you know something is coming but you can't guess what it is because the plan dude the dude who wrote this show he has to have a extremely high iq it is not easy it is not easy what he's doing right now what he's doing the way how the show is written it is not an easy thing to do you can write surprises don't get me wrong but the level the deepness of it's the deepness of um of surprise the deepness of is the, the 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 eloquence you know what i'm saying is is just like the the psychological part the the thinking 10 100 steps ahead of everybody you know what I'm saying? And putting that into a character and then the way how they, 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 they place it into the anime. I mean, everything just comes together. The music, the every man, 10 out of 10, man, 10 out of 10, these three episodes. I mean, the misleading, the, 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 the doubting himself, the everything, you know what I'm saying? Which, which led me to even think that he's actually given up. I was confused because I'm like, that's not how Zero rolls if he's going to do something. And that's what I'm saying. There has to be some sort of plan. I don't see him just giving up like that to this um, to this zone. And I'm saying like he, because he knows that there's a possibility of this shit, this massacre happening again. Why not have he had to have some sort of plan? But the plan is what we could have never came up with. I, I Shit, I wouldn't have think of that. I think I'm a pretty smart guy. But I wouldn't have thought of that shit. <laughs> I mean, that's out of this world, man. And I know I, I keep talking about how people, when I was about to start reacting to this anime, how many people came and they were like, no way, bro, you shouldn't do that because this and that and whatever. And this anime shines, bro. It shines, man. Gotta be one of the greatest ever. Has to be. I think somebody was telling me it's in the top 20, voted top 20 anime of all time. This is already one of my favorites. And I'm not even through the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Because this anime, it just makes you think, man. It's like you're here sitting down trying to figure out what is Zero going to do? You know he gonna do something, but you don't know what it is. What will he do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know he always has these intricate plans, these these levels, you know what I'm saying? Contingency plans upon contingency plans. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you are that smart, bro, if you have, I'm telling you, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching anime for a long time, and I have to say. Lelouch is the smartest character I've 
ever come across in an anime. Hands down. Hands down. I have to say that. The, the, it's just the levels of intricacies. Is the, It's just the levels, man. That I'm thinking about and I'm like the deepness of how he thinks. You know what I'm saying? The hundreds of steps ahead that he's ahead of everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like all you can do is just trust them. Because you know he gonna pull it off. But yet still, he still struggles with what... You know what I'm saying? He's a genius, but he still struggles with the regular shit that regular people struggle with. Which is your emotions. You get what I'm saying? Having feelings for someone. Caring about people. You know what I'm saying? Like, he still struggles with that. He still has... He failed once. And, and that's what I'm saying. Even though he's a genius, he failed at capturing, getting back his sister, and he was about to get high, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the hell they call that junk, or whatever it was going to do, look like he was going to take heroin or something, or whatever the situation is, to forget about his problems, you know what I'm saying, but that wasn't going to solve anything, and I'm glad, I'm glad that, um, that Kylan slapped him in the face and told him, yeah, bruh, nah, but I think I think Callan has a little uh, some sort of feelings for him though, for Lelouch. I think she is developing feelings for him, um, just from how she reacted to what he was doing, how she reacted. Um, but that's not. I think in terms of that, I think she doesn't want that person. Like that person that showed up right there. That's not who she wants. You get what I'm saying? So. Even that would would be a good period in the show because they've gone through a lot together. Um, so even that would be a good period. They have great chemistry, not as, you know, say in a relationship, but as, you know, just characters. They have great chemistry to get every time they're on screen, they explode. Their conversations are always dynamic. So I love it. Um, but great great three episodes man like everything that happened and get getting the upgrade for the grin mark two that was great um but i still want you guys to comment in the comment section let me know who you think is smarter um whether it be rock or lloyd i really want to know we have um we have um hitler 2.0 giving his speech at the beginning of that episode that guy oh my god and i think it seems like everybody, I don't know, man, is he really using, do you guys think he's using the Gias on everybody? Because, I mean, who would, are there people really in, in any world or in any time that would really listen to that stuff and be like, yeah, yeah I, I think you're right. Yeah, <laughs> we should kill and pillage. <laughs> you, know <what> I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you wonder sometimes, because this stuff used to happen back in the day, where you just blindly follow idiots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, I, uh, um, yeah, kill everybody. Power to us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you wonder now, today... When you see people act stupid, it's, it, you know what I mean? Like, you see them be stupid, do stupid things, and you still see people follow them. It, it's just, it's, it's weird to me, you know what I mean? Like, you, you just, I just don't understand why people feel the need to follow people that are like that. That just, how does that make sense to you if you're not the same way? You know what I'm saying? You have to be in that same kind of mindset to be like, oh, that's okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay to, to kill people for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're killing people for no reason. They are um, committing genocide on a daily basis. They're kill executing people on live TV. This is, this is a nut society that everybody's living in. And these kids, you know what I'm saying? They're watching this stuff on TV. The students in the school, they're watching this stuff. And they're not saying... Uh, oh, they're terrorists. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even a terrorist. Like, regular 11s, they're executing on TV for, I don't know. But they think it's normal. You know what I'm saying? They really do think it's normal. You know? So, I mean, man, I, I, 
if I should keep talking here, I'm going to be here for a long time talking about this. But I hope I hope you guys enjoy that, man. I was talking about it in the intro. If you guys listen to the old intro, I was kind of just I just went off on a tangent on defending this series, man, because I it's a I'm passionate for it now. I'm really passionate for it because I love, love, good, great storytelling. And if you can't recognize this for great storytelling and and great um surprises and stuff like that in this anime i don't know what you're thinking i don't know i i can't understand per if you do not understand and take this anime for what it is you're missing out man that's all i can say you're missing out this anime is a great anime it's written brilliantly and i'm gonna keep defending it so thank you guys for watching as always man these three episodes was straight fire can't can't lie about that now i gotta go go react to another um action well really action-packed um unexpectancy with um in attack on titan i don't know what's gonna happen in that anime um you know so thank you guys for watching as always remember to subscribe this is your first time watching man we are here for code geass here and if you don't like it, you don't have to watch my reactions. It's simple plain. If you love my reaction, man, leave a like on this video and also leave a comment in the comment section, man. Let me got let me know what you think of these three episodes. If it was fire, if it was great, if you loved it, what was your reaction when you first watched these episodes? Let me know that in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. We out here, Terror Squad. It's your boy Terror by Reacts. Peace.